YouTube! How you guys doing today? This is Mike, Pratt Family Homestead. Friday vlog. Today is Jenny's birthday. Woohoo! All right, 32 years old. Love you, babe. You are an amazing woman. Uh, uh oh, we got somebody coming up here. And whose birthday was it yesterday? Mine. And whose is it today? Mommy. And what did you just find that you brought me? Can you show everybody? A, A piece, piece of, of glass. glass. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll take that. You don't want to be holding that too much, okay? Okay. Happy birthday, Mom! I, I love, love you! So, a couple days ago, we were at my sister's house, and the girls got a bunch of Barbies and Polly Pockets and all sorts of girly stuff. I told them that that stuff was not coming upstairs to their room until their room was clean. But, we had to get rid of stuff because they have so much stuff. Two girls, they have so much stuff in this room. So I started cleaning the room two days ago. No, yesterday. Yesterday, I started cleaning the room. Spent an hour and a half just doing that. Just the American Girl does stuff. And all of that stuff came out of that area. And now I've got all of this stuff. So I'm sitting here on my birthday organizing <laughs> doesn't look organized at all trying to clean this girl's room so they could bring more stuff upstairs doesn't that sound fantastic but I told them that we are sorting the stuff that's supposed to be coming upstairs because they are not keeping all of it it's like four trash bags I'm not hauling four trash bags of stuff out for them to refill it with four new trash bags of stuff so, but that's what I get to sit here and do sort toy boxes and Barbies and clothes. Look at Gracie's dresser. That is a disaster. I did some of Faith's dresser yesterday. It looks a little bit better. And I organized American Girl doll stuff. And that's as much as I can. So wish me luck. I really want this done today. Not a lot today. Today's a rain day. Rain off. It's supposed to be raining off and on all day long. We didn't really start some vlogging till later, I don't think. Uh, let's go check on the pigs. They're all huddled up in a corner. We got the new red waddles are doing great. Uh, uh, the Tamworth are still quite a bit bigger, still showing dominance, but I mean, they're all getting along. And then, oh man, I love walking by this corn and sunflower patch right here. We'll go take a look at that in just a minute, all right? So here we are at the pig area. Looks like all the pigs are hunkered down outside in that corner right there. Sorry for the winds, guys. The wind is blowing good day we need a good breeze we need a good breeze like we need this rain holy cow we are dry around here let's go let's go walk up on the pigs and see how they're doing they heard me especially these tamworths well they all love running over to us and seeing us you guys remember we got four strands of wire on our fence i keep three pretty low and one higher Hi guys, there should be four Tamworths There's and six Red Waddles. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Everybody's just hanging out in this corner, huh? You guys are looking awesome, and you all know not to come up to this fence, don't you? Come on, let's get away from the fence. Let's go down here. So I'm going to have this in the pig update, but we got this little corral area right here that I made. I uh, backed the trailer up to right here to unload the Red Waddles, and we left them here. Um, but I'm going to leave this here because this is going to be the trailer spot, I think. I may end up redoing it a little. I don't know. We'll see. I'm always changing my mind. Love it. In here, that's already dried out. I think it's because of the wind and stuff. But so far today, we've, according to my phone, we've had about two-tenths of an inch of rain, which is... <laughs> I'm pretty excited about two tenths of an inch. That's quite a bit compared to what we've had in the last three to four weeks. Onions are looking great. I've started, I meant to get going. I need to get more of this done. But I can't remember if I mentioned it before, but Old Alabama Gardener talks about actually uncovering your onions and. Uh, just leaving, you know, the stringy roots on the bottom, just leaving those in the dirt 
so that the, the it'll help the bulbs grow quite a bit bigger and so far I am very happy with these um, hopefully they get quite a bit bigger so thank you Charles OAG for that tip love it potatoes looking strong now this corn here has turned back to a slight yellow in the middle this is our dannery sweet corn that we got from Baker Creek um, I don't know, I'll add some more nitrogen in there, I guess, but uh, it kind of surprises me because I've been keeping up on it. These sunflowers doing amazing. These are the mammoth sunflowers from Baker Creek. I thought I was done thinning these, but I think I'm going to thin them some more. I'll keep going on thinning them. Uh, I was definitely done with the other row. But, with that row, but I still see some spots where I still need to do that too, but those plants are over six foot tall. Yeah, uh, we posted, I posted a picture on Instagram sitting in it. This Cherokee popcorn was struggling, or it looked like it was struggling at least. It was uh, uh, pretty yellow like that sweet corn that I just showed you, if you guys remember a week or two ago, and it was very wilted. Boy, I threw a little nitrogen down, added some water, and this is now well over six foot tall. Well over six foot tall. Hey, TJ, you want to go stand next to that? Oh, no, never mind. Never mind. More mammoth sunflowers doing great. This is the sweet corn Miss Pauletta sent us. Pauletta's, I'll put it in the text here, Pauletta's favorite gifts and collectibles maybe or favorite gifts and something i forget the total name of her facebook page but we met her down at the apple uh, great appalachian homesteading conference uh, amazing lady amazing met her two three years ago whatever two years ago black oil sunflowers are doing amazing you can see the back sides growing a lot better must have had a little more nitrogen or something down there uh but these are all coming to head here Amazing. I cannot wait for all these heads to fully open. Just amazing. Uh, this Wade's Indian corn. Doing good. Um, it perked up a little. You could probably tell it's still a little yellow, especially in the middle. But I threw some, I got the compost stuff kind of going here. And I haven't actually made it into a compost pile, but grass clippings and horse poo. But I threw some horse poo in there and watered it. And it did good and then last night I laid down some nitrogen and uh, hopefully the rain will help perk all this up the ends if you ask me the ends look fantastic middle you know struggling for some reason and that end looks pretty good too so that is the corn and sunflower update that just took up a big chunk of time other than that I don't think we're doing a whole lot today Believe it or not, I've made progress in this room. <laughs> it seriously is so bad. But I got pulled everything out from under the beds, messy bunk beds, um, and I got all that organized. I took three beds. Oh, I've, now I've taken four bags of garbage out of this room. Like, and I mean garbage. Broken toys, trash, papers, broken rubber bands. So what are you doing? My daughters are hoarders. Um, so there's still a ton of stuff on the floor that has to be cleaned up, like everything I just kicked. There is a little bit of method to this madness. Some stuff over there is for the American Girl Dolls. The stuff by the door is coming out of this room and either belongs to games that are downstairs in the game closet or I'm giving them to my nephew Riker, you know, things like that. But I have not even begun the closet yet so we are getting ready to leave we gotta go have a notary sign some paperwork we've got to drop TJ off and then we're going to dinner to celebrate Grace and I's birthday so this is gonna have to wait so I get back <laughs> but hopefully I'll be able to get it done I've just got to do the closet and then get the rest of this stuff figured out that's on the floor and make the beds so hopefully I'll have it done today.
and then I have to do the braces here. Alright guys, I'm not gonna lie, not a whole lot going on today. It's already uh, just past four and we are taking TJ to uh, drop off with his dad. But first we gotta stop by the township yeah. and get some uh, paperwork, uh, what's that word? Notarized. Notarized. I have to do with my mom's estate and everything, so. Uh, it hasn't rained much more today, but we've been anticipating rain all day, so we've treated it like a rain day. <laughs> And we haven't done much. I'm not gonna lie, the kids had their tabs for quite a while. And um, I've been in my recliner Facebook surfing. And I've been cleaning. Jenny's been cleaning on her birthday, but she has this project in her head that she just can't get rid of, and it's emptying out the kids' rooms. Yep. Let's get to the township, which is right where last year's Hoot Nanny was. Yes. And um, get going. Get that going and get your TJ dropped off. Then we're going off a birthday dinner, but this is Grace's birthday dinner from yesterday. And she chose, she wanted to go big boy, which is a very common one with the kids, but we're gonna be in Jackson, and at least, I haven't really looked it up, I'm not sure there is a big boy, but there's a Denny's and a Bob Evans, and we talked to her, or Jenny talked her into Denny's. Denny's, yeah. Nice romantic Denny's dinner, baby. Denny's, that's awesome. It's awesome. It's just me and you. And me! <laughs> And those two, those two are currently on lockdown, not allowed to talk because they can't really seem to be quiet. They were being rather loud. Kind of like the table next to us. So bad. <laughs> so bad. But they, they, they might be, but they seem like good kids. But they are loud. You should look at the sky. We're about to get up. We're about to get some of that rain. <laughs> Mom's a little freaked out because of the dark sky over there. <laughs> hey, look at me. Just keep looking at me. <laughs> we have little appetizers. What do we have? Uh, I, I don't know what do we have some about. chips and cheese and some cheese sticks? Yeah, what are you eating? And what kind of pancakes are you getting at Denny's? Ah. Birthday girl. I can't talk about that. What kind of pancakes are you doing, birthday girl? Chocolate chips. Chocolate chip pancakes. So this is the AR that I got. Um, to be honest with you, I'm still researching, finding out exactly all about it. But um, my brother sold it to me extremely cheap. Shipped it up to me uh, via FFL to FFL, Federal Firearms License. Uh, it came with a bunch of clips, the pistol grip, the scope. Um, I don't care for this so much, uh, as much as I've shot so far, which isn't very much. But um, overall, I really like it. I like it, so let's go shoot it. I've only put, that, put out about 30 rounds in this thing so far, so let's go shoot it. Should we go shoot the gun? Yes. Let's go do it, sister. I'm going way on top of the hill. Oh, it's shooting way high. Or, yeah. I like your earrings, mommy. Right. Thanks. I like your earrings. Thanks. Yeah, you're high. Oh, that one's right next to it. There's a couple left. You want two? I want to try. Hmm. My beard keep look, there's beard hair right here. It keeps getting pinched. <laughs> These two kids were super excited. They've been arguing though, so they look a little crabby at each other. Are you a crab? Are you a crab? No. Okay. Uh, 
We're super excited to go get the bucket. I kind of didn't think I was hitting it. I was getting a little discouraged, but uh, it's kind of hard to tell. I was hitting it quite a bit. Um, so thank you guys for going and getting that bucket. They were super excited. They ran up there to go get it. And Andrew just wants to leave his earmuffs on, his hearing protection on all day long. So I found that uh, at that distance, I am, I'm totally speculating I'm awful with distances. Three, th 300, 350 foot, somewhere in there. I'm guessing. Just over 100 meters, somewhere in there. Um, and that's about, on my property here, that's the farthest I'll be shooting. So, uh, but I could tell right away that the scoop was shooting way low. And, um, or wait, let me see. The rifle shooting way high. I had to aim way low. It's dead on left, right. But uh, since we're getting rain today, I couldn't see any dust kicking up up on the hill. But there was a couple spots that I shot that I did see the dust, and that's when I figured out that the that the scope is aimed in, uh, sighted in um, too low, shooting too high. So I'll get that adjusted. I'm gonna go set up an actual target out there, be able to track it and get it zeroed in for what I need, so, or want, or, you know, whatever. Oh, a little shooting. It's windy again, guys, bear with me. You guys remember our old trusty wagon here? We use this for a lot of stuff. Well, I went ahead and upgraded. I think this is on sale when I got it at TSC. I want to say 119 or something, but it's, um, these sides come off. It's got a thousand pound capacity um, one-handed that's kind of weird a uh, thousand pound capacity the sides come off this handle you can undo the pins and turn it around to go on a tractor uh, this is gonna get a lot of use I can see Jenny especially using it attached to the tractor a lot or even the kids TJ drives the I was talking about the lawn tractor it can attach to well it can attach to the big one too what the heck but TJ could easily go get the lawn tractor if they needed to do some stuff and move this with this. We have deemed this a food friendly only cart. So no horse poo, no, no barn clean out, no nothing. This is garden harvest, pig feed, different animal feeds, that kind of stuff. So uh, it should work out good. We've been real happy with it so far. I actually managed to get it clean and I mean there's still like a ridiculous amount of stuff in the closet but it's at least better than it was. Hauled out a total of five bags of trash and a bag of stuff for donation and just put stuff where it was supposed to be. Kids are so like challenging. So moved over this little dresser thing. That was my grandma's by the way. And made some space because I know that a lot of the stuff that the girls are getting is Barbie stuff. So it's going to kind of need to fill in that space. Um, I made the beds. And under the beds is clean. There's not stuff sticking out all over the place. I asked them how long it was going to last this way. And they say they're going to keep it clean. But they're 10 and 5. And my daughter's. And I know what my room looked like growing up. So it'll be dirty tomorrow. And I'll have a connection. And we'll start all over again. <laughs> but at least this way, it's a lot better. It's back to the way that it's supposed to be. And, it, you know, it's not been neglected for so long. It took me all day, but I'm happy with how it cleaned up. Uh, I want to do the boys' room, but I think I'm going to take a couple days and wait. <laughs> because this is a lot of work. All right. Just to reiterate, today was about uh, just, um, just off firing some rounds. Was not about actual target practice although hitting stuff so is good it was just getting comfortable with the weapon uh, now I, uh, I have an actual cleaning kit coming um, 
in the mail. But what I'm going to do right now is basically just get this thing wiped down and uh, oiled up. All right, guys, it's getting pretty late. It's dark outside now, so we are going to get going. I brought some garlic inside. Um, I'm thinking we might give some away at the Hootenanny next week, so we might go ahead and get it in some braids. Maybe. I don't know. So uh, we hope to see you guys at the Hootenanny next week. There probably will not be a Friday vlog next week, although there could be because there will be a lot of good footage the night before of... Uh, everybody that's coming in um, uh, Friday night. So, yeah, I guess if, if I can sit down in the camp or at the campground and do some editing and get a Friday vlog out to you guys, I'll, I'll do it. If not, I got a feeling I'm going to be busy, and that might not happen. But I'm going to get this thing wiped down. Thanks for coming along today, guys. I really appreciate it, and we will see you soon. Friday. So what we're going to do, we're going to do, we're going to try and read a book way fast. And um, let's see who wins. Let's get into the video. So now I have, um, now I have Lolly Loopsy. Let's build a garden. Um, let's set that behind our babies. Actually, that's so that idea. Okay. Okay, the video I can see. So, let's see. Ding! A shush! I thought I'd do a video here. Okay, I'll call you later, phone. I'll go back to sleep. Shall I? Oh yeah, either way. Let's see. Shake? Or shake? Or 